Hello, dear friends. Acclimatation consists of making living beings accustomed to living conditions different from those that were usual. Opinion piece. High energy, rapid increase, difficult adaptation, space radiation, high frequency, the great transition. Goals are setting, but there are no fixed dates. The Compression of Matter World Council Assembly Let's start. People are having difficulty adapting to the rapid increase in the Earth's high frequency field from the previous 7.1 to 7.8 Earth to 40 to 60 Earth current and sometimes up to 100 Earth and even 600 or 700 according to Lev of Disclosure News. He adds that not everyone is ready for this. The consciousness of many is in turmoil, and the degree of disgust and rejection towards new information increases. But the unconscious is forcefully cleansed, forcing one to get rid of old addictions and ties to the imposed 3D reality. The Galacond World Space Council is shocked to see how many souls are traumatized. You are, their healing progress, their healing progresses slowly and needs constant support. And the one hand by accelerating karma, and the other, and on the other, by a more intense pumping of spiritual energies into the hope of accelerating the awakening of humankind. The largest source of radiation on Earth is the Sun. Ionizing space radiation is composed of atoms that have lost electrons as the atom accelerates through interstellar space to a speed close to the speed of light. In the end, only the nucleus of the atom remains. Space radiation is made up of three types of the radiation. Particles trapped in the Earth's magnetic field particles shot into space during solar flares, and galactic cosmic rays, which are high-energy protons and heavy ions from outside our solar system. Diagnosis. On January 19th, new information was published about the General Assembly of the World Space Council, in which special attention was paid to the terrestrial affairs. Unfortunately, the Council considered the general state of the Earth to be serious. The new logos of Earth Gaia took charge of a three-dimensional planet in conditions comparable to those of a person in a wheelchair. Furthermore, it is suffocating from the polluted environment, toxic industrial emissions, radioactive and chemical poisoning of the biosphere, and the concentrated energies of hatred and aggression that fill the subtle plane. Earth Gaia is also in extreme pain due to fractures of the Earth's crust, earthquakes, rocket and bomb explosions, and targeted disasters. Brainstorming in the plenary sessions revealed some new strategic objectives, and it has been confirmed once again that there is no detail and fixed schedule for the years, months, and days of a planet's transition to 5D. All plans and actions of the Galactic Committee are purely situational. Only the strategic goals and objectives remain unchanged. Excuse me. <coughs> Restoration. In addition to the transition to 5D, it is planned to restore the primary surface of the Earth and the position of the planet in orbit. Aeons ago, after the Pleroma schism caused by the betrayal of one of its supreme co-creators who tend to the dark side, the ancient third local universe also split into two parts, causing endless wars and cataclysms that last to this day. Cracks formed in the Earth's core and its integrity was broken causing the division of a supercontinent that had a Jin Jam mandala shape located evenly between the northern and southern hemispheres. The disintegration continued for many epochs, 
but even as it slowed, each new massive held together to the entire Earth's crust. During the last millennium, due to the space and planetary wars, asteroids and gravitational strikes were directed at the surface, the rise of continents accelerated, and the Earth's axis of rotation tilted, tilted. so the mass imbalance within the core reached a critical level. Fortunately, the Galactic Committee and friendly space races intervened quickly and were able to stabilize the core. They fixed the position of the axis at its current angle of 23.4 degree through a precession, a precession mechanism with a cycle of 26,000 years, linking the planet with energy channels through 144,000 pyramids with the same number of star and constellations. They are fields of force. Treatment. Since 2004, marked by the catastrophic earthquake and tsunami in Asia, the co-creators have carried out the Global Earth Treatment Program. Includes the complete and final balance of the core, the change of geographic and magnetic poles, the strengthening of a new crystalline lattice, the axis of rotation, the position of the planet in adjusted coordinates in its orbit around the Sun, the solution to the lunar problem, and much more. Today, the Moon has a detractive effect on the Earth in many ways. Not only are there many bases and repeaters, but it also creates a gravitational imbalance in the Earth's field. The co-creators and Galacom are weighting different options to solve the problem from completely eliminating the moon to adding one more or three better ones, placing them in Earth orbit in the shape of a cross. According to very careful and not yet final drafts, the co-creators plan to complete the rehabilitation program of the physical body of the Earth around the year 2030. Special teams from the Galactic Committee, which have the necessary technology and experience, are involved in the process. First of all, it is necessary to deal with the Earth's core, to completely balance it. If this is done quickly, according to calculations, it will take several years, but the danger of flash earthquakes and tidal waves increases. If done gently, it will take 10 to 15 years, with daily earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and weather and climate anomalies across the planet, judging by current events that the scenario is implementing now. Adjusting. Adjustment. Generally, in the great cosmos, with all the total restructuring of planet, it is completely depopulated. On the other hand, fixing precise spatial coordinates of the new poles is a complex new operation that requires surgical precision. Errors caused, for example, by the movement of biological and physical matter on Earth are not allowed. However, in the case of Earth, the co-creators flipped the script and rebuilt the Earth house without evicting the titan, titans. At the same time, they are testing the reorientation of the Earth's axis from North Star towards Vega or Arcturus. But Calacom's expert groups are already working on a new plan. Center the axis and the new North Pole in the center of the galaxy, perpendicular to the plane of rotation of the planet, as it was at its birth. Thanks to the World Council, the attention of a large number of space civilizations is focused on Earth and not only on, lo on our local universe. It is planned to increase its presence on our, on our planet, expand evolutionary objectives and deepen cooperation between the new humankind and the absolutes. The preparations for this are enormous in all areas. The high frequency energy sent to Earth every day are designed to soften and decompress not only physical matter, but also biological matter, so that people can survive the increasing Earth frequencies. All missionaries of light are involved in the assimilation, synchronization, and retransmission of these cosmic energies. 
The new natural elements and elementals of earth, water, air, and fire will be fully activated. Change in the matrix. Additionally, the co-creators have made important changes to the Earth's causal matrix that executes the incarnation process on our planet. Previously, after death, within 40 days, a person's subtle body is disintegrated to the core of the causal layer. He then passed from the earthly causal matrix to the general feet of all incarnation, where he, he remained until the new, a new birth from several months to 2,000 years later. No more, because with an increase in this period, the memory of the previous life experiences is lost. It began again with the choice of the time and place of birth, the biological parents, the preparation of a karmic program, the next goals and objectives for returning to Earth, etc. After that, conception or get new Gaussian and subtle body were formed, then the birth of a physical body. All of that took about nine months. Over the past few years, the pause between incarnations has been reduced to an average of nine days. But now the old incarnation protocol has been disabled and the new temporary version is running in its place. It provides that after death, a person will be removed from the earth field of incarnation to special external storage. Then, after a time, the souls are sent from there to their original cosmic home or to another reality in the greater cosmos. And only there will the next series of incarnation continue. According to their report, all people who die on earth are being rescued. No one will return to the planet because it has become impossible. This is the necessary technical condition for the Earth's reset and pole shift, indicating the seriousness of the co-creator's intentions. In the summer of 2023, they planned the new seeding of fire souls, starting with one of the Russian regions, inviting the ground team to help. But they cancelled the operation at the last moment due to the worsening of wild events. Breaking news. Florida Governor DeSantis drops out of presidential race and endorses Trump. The Davos Forum was held amid criticism for the increase in equality. In 2024, there will be awakening of the world economy, according to the Davos Forum. Saudi Arabia goes big in Davos as it seeks to become a major AI technology hub for the Middle East. The JP Morgan Bank could announce its bankruptcy when Basel IV comes into force. Noni Prince wants that the price of gold could double in 2024. Will cash become obsolete? As people move towards more electronic or digital forms of payment, it may seem that paper money is on its way to obsolescence, but experts say cash will always be available. In many European countries, farmers have demonstrated and blocked roads in protests against European Union measures, from France to Romania, passing through Germany. Europe must address its competitiveness deficit to adapt to the new geoeconomic era, according to consulting firm McKinsey. Curious. Parents are concerned that artificial intelligence generated influencers are promoting unrealistic beauty standards for children. Scientists may have rebuilt the enigmatic nature of huge sinkholes in Siberia due to powerful underground gas explosions. The world's oldest lost city found Archaeologists have discovered evidence of a huge and sophisticated lost city in the dense Amazon rainforest region of eastern Ecuador in the foothills of the Andes. A small asteroid has just hit the Earth during the last hours of January 20th. Hungarian astronomer Christian Sarnetsky discovered a new asteroid. Three hours later, it collided with Earth and disintegrated in the atmosphere not far, not far from Berlin. 
the meta-wide space rock is believed to have been completely destroyed. Surprising, surprisingly, Italian astronomer Luca Buzzi, Luca Buzzi managed to photograph it just before it hit. New global race to the moon. Japan recently became the fifth nation to successfully complete a, a soft landing on the surface of the moon, joining a select few countries, USA, Russia, China, and India, to achieve this feat. But moon landings are li likely to become more common in the coming years. Globally, more than 100 lunar missions are expected to be carried out by 2030, both by private companies and governments, according to the European Space Agency. Reflections. Narrow is the gate and narrow is the path that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Cosmic elucidations of the current era by Bernard Ross. We have within us an ocean of potentiality. Our traumas and ecstasies ebb and flow like the tides. Personal turmoil and disorder are not a sign of failure, but a messenger announcing the arrival of transformation. Our true selves await us. He who is radiant and serene with the light of insight, with which only a journey through the night can grant. A descent into darkness precipitates purification, causing us to emerge with a deep sense of connection to all life. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.